Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can probably tell, I just popped out of the shower and uh, and here to look at uh, the new reveal for the champion. And uh, this one is one that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, Alawi. Alawi is by far my favorite champion in all of the Le League of Legends universe. Uh, I love how she plays in, in game. I love her lore. I love her art. I... I love everything about her. She is S tier. Uh, and now she's coming to Legends of Runeterra. And I, oh, I pray to God that she is a mid range, uh, mid range uh, champion because I love playing mid range in Legends of Runeterra. And that would just be, oh, that would be icing on the cake for this character for me. Because then she would just be perfect in all her game. Uh, all her games in the um, in the Ruin King, in Le League of Legends, and in LOR. That'd be so perfect. All right, let's jump right into it. Life is too short for fear. Different voice actor. Fortune favors the bold. Stand and be tested. Uh, overwhelm. Okay. Like I like what I see. Four mana, one six, attack, spawn one, and that that's the new keyword. Uh, then I gain power equal to the strongest tentacle power this round. Oh, I've seen tentacles or I deal fifteen plus damage. Oh, and she has six. Wow. Oh, ooh. This looks. This is looking good, guys. I think I like it. Defend yourself. Spawn. All right. Summon a one-one tentacle, or if you already have one, give it plus one plus one for each spawn. Oh, so you create one really big tentacle, and then and then okay, and then that one really big tentacle is. Then powers up Lowey. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, tentacle slam, four mana slow. Spawn three, so basically create a two two. Uh, then your strongest tentacle and the enemy strike each other. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you you make it grow big, and then you have okay that okay this is okay. You know. I have always felt very fortunate. Oh, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. My Beat bad, me. my bad. Guns blazing. And then it be Oh. Oh, you okay. Can't see the glory of Nagakaporos. Oh, okay. Prophet of the Elder. Oh, the Okay, they're honor, doing more. You must die. We saw this with Jin too. The sea's protection takes what was that? many forms. Okay, I'll, I'll look at that later. But that, that's a lot when of spawn right still, there. You must make waves. Move or be moved. Strike quickly, strike quickly. Three attacks. Stand strong spawn, beneath head. Spawn gates. two, draw two. <laughs> this is it. Land or draw. All right. Wait, I missed that. Oh, I missed the level, level up text. Let's look. No. Ah, there we go. When I when you spawn, increase its value by one. What does it mean by increase its value by one? Okay, I don't understand that. Uh, attack, spawn one, then fully heal your strongest tentacle. And I gain stats equal to his stats this round. Okay. <laughs> we will regain what we have lost. Naga oh my god! Upon victory. New relic. Grant my support at ally. Grudges are the anchors that drown small men. Okay. A life lesson. Duck. Oh. Okay. I have to stop for this. Nakakeboros. 
Uh, 8 mana, 5 8, fearsome. Round start, spawn 2. Oh my god, it's like Hydrovine. If you if you if the, your strongest tentacles has twelve plus power, create a knock Kaboros tantrum in hand. Knock Kaboros tantrum starts a free attack with. F oh, when I'm summoned, grow my stat to that of your strongest tentacle and grant me its keywords. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. This is so fun. Oppose me and die. Growth demands effort. Oh Witness my truth. God. Nagasho. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we, we saw these, we saw this. Uh, what's this? Uh, Bro leader, three mana, three, two. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, play uh, a one cost ally starts a free attack. All right, I still don't know when you spawn increase its value by one. Does it mean like I don't understand? Does it like does it just like make it spawn two instead of just spawn one? I don't know. I think that's what it is. Any spawn that you do is twice as is technically twice as effective when Alawi levels up. That's what it means. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. That uh, makes it makes it make way more sense. All right. So answered prayers is the one I missed. Two mana, slow speed. Uh, spawn two or spend five mana to spawn four instead. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is actually so. This is like a two mana, two two with spell mana. That that's already not a bad. That's not that's not bad on its own. But it could also become a four a five mana four four with spell with spell mana. Mm, honestly, I think I would prefer to use this as, as its two mana state unless you're really going for. Well, it's also it can also like if you already have a tentacle out, it can also buff that tentacle to be bigger. So, yeah, okay, yeah. And you want to keep your uh keep your tentacle alive, actually. So you you might might want to run tentacles with a lot of protection tools. Honestly, you might want to protect your tentacles more than you want to protect a lally. <laughs> Honestly, because like. It seems like so many things rely on you having these big, big ass spawned tentacles that you that you just ram into your opponent. So you, you want to give them keywords. You want to have want them to have protection, and you want and you want to snowball off of them. What does that sound like? That sounds like Udir. It sounds like you're trying. Th this is a really good buff target for Udir. And Freljord has a lot of protection tools to protect tentacles as well. And Alawi also acts as a sort of... Since she already has Overwhelm, she kind of acts like a really good finisher in that case. Other than Udyr. Udyr just provides the value. Alawi is the finisher. She's also 4 mana, so 4 mana to 5. That's not terrible either. Okay, so uh, I, might try, I, tr I might try Alawi with Udyr. That that could be really interesting, really really interesting. Or or we could do uh, Alawi Viego as well. Um, seems to be spawning a bunch of bigger things and making them grow is the theme of this deck. So you could just slap in Viego and see where that takes you. Oh my goodness. Anything else? All right. Right, let's jump right into the uh, card reveals. Alrighty, so we see. Oh, apparently this card was supposed to be revealed. Let me let me just. Is there anything else? Ah yes, 
Okay, so here, there's actually not a lot of cards that were revealed uh, that I, that we didn't already see. Um, there's only three. There's the Watchful Idol. Um, one mana, zero five. Okay, that's a, okay. Round start, deal two to me and spawn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Imagine putting regen on this. Oh man. Whoa. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. You put regen in, gen on this and it becomes okay. It, you basically always have a tentacle uh, a tentacle up. Oh my goodness. Watchful idol. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This actually really really com man, this is like no matter you would put this in no matter what spawn deck. Like, this is the premier spawn card. Oh my goodness. This this is just super good. Like, the only problem, of course, is that it's immobile. But it does, that doesn't matter. Immobile doesn't matter with, with when it's spawning for you. And it's round start, so you... You basically, you play this and then you get your... You get your 1-1... One, one, the next turn uh obviously it's a little bit slow on the up front but as we can probably gather spawn tentacles can grow out of control so having a one cost card that you can drop down really early that can produce multiple spawns is key to this concept uh very good card very good card uh for the spawn ar archetype in general all right, and then we have, oh yeah, and her champ. No, to no one's surprise, the champion spell is Tentacle Smash. Uh, I I almost instantly knew it was okay, it, and it's not a bad champion spell. It's just really high synergy. Uh, Burrow Lookout, uh, five mana four three. When I'm summoned, spawn three. So it's basically a, f uh, it's a five four three that splits its body. At base to a four three and to into a three three, that is not terrible on its own. It's actually not terrible on its own. Um, you almost it might almost be playable outside of a spawn deck, but definitely in a spawn deck, I think this 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 could be a pretty good card depending on uh the curve. Uh, how you want to curve it. This this is very... This card... It, like, 5 mana is a little late, right? So... I don't know. This... It depends on... I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of different ways for us to get spawn, right? So... I almost want to say that it might be outshined by the other spawn options that we have since it comes down a little bit too late, but spawning three on top of another spawn is also really good. And if it, if it was a 5-3, then this card would be looking pretty hot, but I I think it's a little bit too understated for what it is. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just crazy. I could be crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at... From this from a synergy standpoint and i think uh there are stronger sy synergy points than brew lookout five mana man five mana all right then we have the seas voices now nah. oh whoa there three mana three three hold your horses attack spawn one and give your strongest tentacle overwhelm this round holy crap this this also this is a card that goes into okay so you attack you spawn one you give that tentacle overwhelm oh my gosh that's so good and it has a premier stat line of a three mana three three so at base you have a three mana three three that when you attack gives you a one one like on its own that's not that's not bad. But it has the added benefit of, like, if you have spawned and grown your tentacle, 
uh, to a, a high rate, it gives it overwhelm, so it becomes a kill threat. This, okay, now this is a really good card. Holy crap. You see, now this this is this is the kind of power level I'm talking about. Like, the Burrow Lookout was kind of like I'm on the fence about, but this one, mm, the Seas Voices, smacking it. Definitely card to look out for. Uh, you know my first deck is going to be with Alawi. Wait, I didn't... Ch oh, yeah, she is strictly a Bilgewater champ. All right. All right. So, strictly Bilgewater champ. Don't... I'm still not quite 100% sure on how these... Re like, the, the neutral region works. I guess I'll find out more uh, when everything comes to light or when it, when it all comes out. I'll mess around in the deck builder and see what's what. But... Oh man, I am excited for Lowy. So excited. I might I, I might just play her all the time. Uh the only the only thing I'm slightly disappointed about is her level up. I feel like I feel like they could have done more with level up. And we we haven't seen her ultimate. Her ultimate is not in any of her cards. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, her, and then and like her her signature moves in league is spiritual, like spirit temp, uh, tempered spirit ba, and tentacle slam, and uh tentacle smash, and then there's also her um her ultimate which is I forgot the name of her ultimate. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Uh, but but her ultimate isn't really represented here, which is a little upsetting. Just a, just a little bit. I feel like they could have made a card uh, that represented her ultimate. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. Per I'm pretty happy with what we got. Uh, and I think we were kind of running a little long on this one, probably because I'm rambling about my favorite champion. But uh, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.